What is going on, y'all? Gonzo's Combo, Season 3, Episode 21. So, again, this is the best season we've had so far, and yet the longest season we've had. You know, summer, for some reason, always always goes longer than the other seasons, it seems like, you know? So, it is definitely the most successful season that I've had on on uh, on the podcast, and... Uh, I'm proud of that. I'm definitely very much proud of that. Um, this la this this last episode I recorded was a good one. You know, her coming from New York, she gave her insights. She talked a lot about some good shit, and um, I loved it. I love that. I love that shit. You know, when y'all when the guests I bring on, when the guests I bring on give good ass vibes, and we end up getting the conversations rolling. I love that shit. It's a good feeling and. Honestly, as a podcaster, it's the best feeling, you know. So I can't really say too much else, you know, about it because that right there is literally the best feeling. It's not just the uh, who you have on or anything like that. None of that materialistic type of shit. It's about the vibe, you know. I could have the baddest fucking female on here. You know what I'm saying? It might attract a lot of views, but. It's, it'd be solely because of who I brought on, you know, you know whether that's like the Becky G, you know, any type of celebrity, motherfucking, you know, Miss USA, like it don't it don't matter, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna tap in because of who I have on. But let's say that person didn't have a good vibe to actually keep a conversation. It kind of ruins the whole purpose of the podcast, you know. Then it's just a fucking I don't know what's I don't even know what to call it. You know what I'm saying? But seeing Becky G's personality and everything like that, I know damn well she would have a good conversation with this shit. Mm. And at the same time, it would be an absolute blessing to have that shit happen, to bring her on and be able to talk about literally anything. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what the podcast is about. Talking about anything and everything and having a good vibe doing it. You know? And, you know, if one day I do get to bring on a celebrity like Becky G on, like, that'd be a good experience for me, for one. And two, I don't even know what to say. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be I'd be that fucking excited about it. But today, for episode 21, we're bringing on Emily, I believe, a TikTok influencer, because the majority of them I bring on from TikTok. TikTok is great for that, because there's people seeking opportunities and, you know, trying to expand themselves and also networking, all that type of shit, you know? At the same time, has a lot of toxicity, you know, this other bullshit. So I only use TikTok for that purpose. I go live every now and then, but it's not some it's not one of those apps that I like to use frequently. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and bring on Emily onto this podcast. Let me see. She already joined, but I didn't see her in here. <laughs> that was a little weird. Let's see. You know, I can tell y'all this right off the bat. She is. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yo. Hi. I was just about to say you're the most positive person I had like, to have on here. And I didn't have you yet. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna stay positive. Absolutely. In this in this time of you know this generation absolutely yeah huh. honestly yeah oh yeah so go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone viewing talent listening okay. hi i'm emily um do i have to say anything else <laughs> you know like the name what you do. yeah like your name what you do you know your, your short-term and long-term goals type of deal okay um i already said my name emily um my short and long terms my short ones are um school uh i really want to be a traveling nurse and my long terms is to just go to school and follow my dreams and if it doesn't work then see what else is out there for me i fuck with that don't let <laughs> yeah. the first don't let the first idea you know keep on going through the alphabet you know, yes. plan, plan A through plan Z, and then even further than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
<laughs> I like that. So what is it that, that you do? Because I did meet you or brought you on from TikTok. I was in a TikTok app and I have a video, you know, got my attention. So are you a TikTok influencer at the same time? Um, or? I don't really want to say i am an influencer i just like cop on tiktok once like i'm bored and like i usually don't have nobody to talk to so i'm just like you know what like let's go on live let's go make friends let's go see who's out there you know make new friends you know and tiktok is like where everybody is so i was just like let me just hop on i recently hopped on like what like this this month and then i met you i met new other people so it was pretty dope so my phone yeah. grew but it's like pretty dope to meet new people and like just see what tiktok brings me i fuck with that you're down to network and meet people and you know have fun doing that I like that for sure yeah <laughs> but with your following i would definitely say tiktok influencer for sure you know yeah or just, you know, tiktok whatever the term type of deal is you know um i will say i don't know if you agree with me with this right but i was recently talking about how tiktok is kind of like the most toxic social media app there is out there it is i really want to say it is kind of it is well not even kind of but it is kind, <laughs> it is toxic in a way because a lot of people bring negativity through it like um once like i saw it like in life like a lot of people were like commenting like for my insecurities or like everything you know it's actually toxic it it fucks with somebody's mental health you know like it's like damn yeah. like i don't really think what they're doing or what they're saying like some people i don't get some people like how could they like just come and just say some rude stuff in tiktok or like post some you know stuff that shouldn't be posted you know like how yeah. could he have a mentor to do that? Which is weird how TikTok is sensitive with that, but they're sensitive on how the host acts on the line, which is super yeah. fucking weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's like, just so weird. And then, yeah. like, so I'm like, oh, like, I saw some, bro, like, TikTok is kind of weird. Like, if you're letting things to post, like, unpure, oh. Like some weird stuff, like they just get posted. Like, why even do that? Like, like isn't TikTok have to be safer? Like kids for older people and everything. Like, they be like, oh, like shake your butt, blah blah. Like, do like, you should damn them, <laughs> not me. Yeah. But that's the thing, they don't. But if I were to hop on live and you know say all the cuss words there is out there, I would be in TikTok jail again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. It's it's crazy. It's a crazy ass app. And I remember when I was, you know, trying to invite you on, there was a lot of weird comments in there too, which that's just a normal thing on TikTok, I feel like. Yeah, like I feel like even though like TikTok should like actually do something about it because it's not cool that they're letting these people comment and once we have something to say back, like it's we get banned about it like recently like yesterday i got banned because this one guy was like coming for me like for my nose or like my insecurity and then i just like bro, yeah like i was like i was like bro, like, bro, like, just, like i don't even know like this guy was just like oh like you just don't like the truth you know like he was just coming for me you know and i got like upset i we came back you know and i was like okay like drop your phone you know i pinned it <laughs> I told everybody to call it, and uh, I got banned by it, like, just because I pinned his phone number, and everybody called it, and it was like, that's dude, like, you are bullying me, like, that's, all I did is just, like, put his phone number in the, to everybody. Did he, he sent it to you, or? Yeah, he's, well, he commented in the, like, in the comments, like, he put it, yeah. he put his phone number there, like, it's not my fault, he put I've it. I've seen people doing that, is that, like, a trend thing, like, is that just, weird shit people do in, in comment sections all up. they do and it's just like bro like you sit there and do that like that's that's pretty just nah just yeah. not chill. it's stupid because they're putting their phone number out there for the whole for everybody in the fucking live yeah yeah it's weird as fuck. yeah it's people... <laughs> so for, for this first topic right we're gonna go ahead and talk get into the, the relationship topics because I, I like to do that with the, i like to talk about this type of topic with the guests because i've got a lot of mixed ones but mostly mostly the same ones if that makes sense so with the yeah. first one right do you see in the future let's say beginning of 2024 do you see relationships with people the way they communicate the way they socialize do you see that going up or do you see that down here 
Wait, can you repeat that question again? Sorry, it's just. I got you. So, on the start of 2024, do you see relationships going up here or downhill? And by relationships, I mean the way people socialize, the way people communicate, all that type of relationship shit. Do you see it going uphill or downhill? Um, I want to see in the middle, a lot of people, like usually not even in relationships, but like everywhere, like not a lot of people talk to nobody anymore. Like it's always just everybody's close to each other. Like you can't even trust your person close to each other. Like, um, I feel like it will be kind of like weird. Like it will be like weird to like just trust somebody like and build a relationship with somebody because a lot of people are just like you know like oh no like i'm gonna get cheated on like i'm gonna just go with another relationship like well, well i'm gonna go with these and that like yeah. it's just like i feel like in this generation does even relationship exist now <laughs> like do people even want to be loyal <laughs> like it's just so weird like i don't even know like like I, now i see it like i see a lot of people how they like go hopping around and everything i'm just like that's not like that's like this is a world now like nobody can be loyal to one person or it's not even you know, like they're hopping around it's like they're proud of it too and that's what really yeah, fucks yeah. Me. like oh um, like i don't know like i can't even be like that person like i'm just like damn like a matter of fact i would just stay single for a lifetime like shit like until like i'm 50 until like i just find somebody <laughs> don't say that don't say that you know, i'm gonna tell you this i'm gonna tell you this i had that same mindset too but when i met my significant other it just like i said it happened organically and it happened out of nowhere you know what i'm saying yeah. like it happened when i was just focusing on my own shit and then it happened to where we just started communicating and then it went from there, from there you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I, what I always tell people is to always focus, like, start off focusing on your own shit. And when you start focusing on your building yourself up, everything else falls into place. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to say, too. Like, one thing is that if you be loyal to yourself, then you'll be loyal to your to your other person like somebody you love you know first is you you building your relationship with yourself before you go you know with somebody else even though you're not prepared to it you know like let everything fall for it to get it like if you're focused on yourself and you're not worried about who's coming in and who's coming out like everything's gonna be perfect like do like just think positive and everything will come your way Y'all, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that from her? From her perspective, y'all hearing that shit? I, I preach that shit all the goddamn time. So mm -hmm. it's it's nice to have another person say that. Shit. You know what I mean? It's nice. Yeah. But I will say, for in my perspective, I feel like they should go downhill. You know, for most for most people on in our age and our generation, it's going downhill. And the reason why I say that is all the apps that are out right now, all the new technology that's coming out. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where people aren't going to go out anymore. And yeah. They're going to solely rely on technology. People are already doing that shit. You know, with fucking dating apps, Tinder, Hinge, and shit like that. They're already so focused on that app, on that app, and trying to just not even date, but fuck. And that's it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's what I see. Like, all people just think is about. You know, fucking and dipping, like, damn, like, shit, you don't even worry about the person. You're just worrying about getting in, bouncing, like, to the other person. Like, I agree with you now. Like, I see it because, I mean, I was just, like, out of a relationship. Damn. I should have <laughs> My bad. I got oh, a little but uh, I was saying, like, I just got out of a relationship. And once, like, like, what, like, three months ago, like, I saw all of this. I'm just like, damn, like. These guys just want to, like, fucking leave. Like, no, this is not me, you know? Like, I'm so scared, in a way, to be in a relationship because, like, dude, like, I wouldn't know what my other person is doing, you know? Like, I wouldn't know what he's doing or anything. So yeah. seeing it now, it's just, like, eh, eh, kind of scared. People are weird. You just want to <laughs> fucking leave. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I, I think the call kind of slowed you down because I, I can hear what you're saying, but, like, the... The movement, like when I see you, it kind of slowed it down a little bit. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh no, it's back now. You can't hear me. No, I can't hear you. Fuck. Um, is it good now? Yeah, now it's good. 
Okay. I, I, that's my fault. I should have warned you to like go on like D and D or some shit, you know. So like, cause the okay. calls and like alarms and shit could fuck this shit up. Really? So should I do it right now? Do you think we'll mess it up right now? Nah, it, it is slowed down though. So what I would say, what I would say is put it on D and D, all that shit. Make sure you don't have any alarms, and then disconnect and reconnect because it's slowing down. Okay. How do you reconnect and this? Mm. I'm so new to this. <laughs> um, how do you reconnect? Like, like I'm saying, like go D and D and then leave the stream and then come back to it. Okay. okay. Like, yeah. Damn. I'm. I, I. I'm sorry, y'all. I need to start telling people that, like, to um fucking. Go on D and D. Make sure they don't got no goddamn alarms and shit, cause it does fuck this shit up. I'm not gonna lie, it it messes it up. Uh, so now we're just gonna wait for fucking join back. Damn, we're just getting into some good ass combo, man. All you motherfucking simps out there calling the goddamn people I'm having on as guests. Shit is crazy. I understand it's the simping hour for y'all, but like, goddamn. Hello? Okay, yeah, it's good now. Okay. So yeah, again, that's my fault. I should have warned you about all that stuff. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, we're talking about how how social media is impacting um a lot of relationships in our generation. It does. It really does. It's like a lot of people are young age. It's like now when I tell my cousins and everybody's like don't worry about a relationship right now i mean right now we're young we gotta experience we're young like we gotta worry about us we don't gotta worry about nobody else right now you know we're so young like dude like we <laughs> we're so worried about who's loving us when we can just love ourselves you know and yeah. sometimes, like i tell them i'm like dude like i kind of regret like i was in a relationship and i was getting my heart broken when <laughs> I could have got it heartbroken when I was like twenty five. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Don't regret it. Like, don't regret stuff like that because at the end of the day, it's all a learning. Experience. It's all a learning experience. And heartbreak like that helps you realize who you're looking for and what to look for in, in a significant other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You no. Know, so I went. I went through my my fair share of heartbreaks. I went through my fair share of you know friends with benefits and shit when I was in high school. But I can tell you, I don't regret it fully because there was all learning experiences. It helped me find out who drives for me and who's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I see. <laughs> kind of agree, but yeah. <laughs> you said kind of agree? <laughs> I kind of agree, but yeah. I mean, but with social media, it does make it tough for people, for sure. You know, to have a genuine relationship because if you're both on social media, it's like y'all constantly worry about who y'all talking to, who you looking at on fucking Instagram, you know? Yeah. Little shit like that could really fuck up a relationship. It really does, honestly. A lot of people, like, even their friends could be the, the problem, too, about it. A lot of shit like that. Like, the best friends get involved, and they end up, like, messing around with you and other or something. Yeah. Like that. Just like, damn. You know? Yes. My friends never did that, but I've heard stories. Yeah, I mean, too. Like, it's, bro, it'd be their friends most of the time, let me tell you. It'd be, they be putting them. <laughs> it's the quiet ones. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. It's the quiet ones. Ones that don't even want to talk to you. It's the quiet friends that don't talk or say anything at first, but then when, you up, when you're alone, that's the time to shine. You know what I'm saying? It is. I agree. <laughs> Where is it you're from again? I'm from Seattle, from Washington. Seattle, Washington, the, yeah. the state of, of apples and rain. Yep. A lot of rain. How do you like living out there? I honestly love it. I get every weather in just one day. <laughs> like, mm. sometimes it be raining and then it just goes sunny or it just goes super hot and it just rains randomly or it snows, fall, weather. I don't even know. It just gets every weather in just one day. I can tell you where, where I'm at. We need some of that damn rain. It's, it's too damn hot. 
recently, it recently has been only hot because, I mean, since summer, the sun been hitting here and it's just, I'm not used to it. Like, right now I'm, like, literally sweating because it's so hot. Like, <laughs> it's over there, too. I, I think that's weird how, uh, how it's been getting hot everywhere else recently. Extremely fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It's that, so taps in, that taps into some conspiracy theory, you know? <laughs> Are you big on the, are you big on conspiracy theories or not? Uh, kinda. Kinda, it, like wh- which ones? You know, which ones do you know? Mm, not much. I be only with I be doing it with my cousin, like me and her, like this, and we yeah. just going on in. I got you. So you know the rapper. I mean, this is kind of an old one. But also still kind of new to some people because when I bring it up, they're like, "Oh shit!" Mm-hmm. So you know the rapper Lil Uzi Vert, right? Yeah. Say that name slow and tell me what that sounds like to you. Little Uzi, little Uzi. Lucifer, Lucifer. What that sound like, Lucifer? Lucifer. Ah. You catch it? <laughs> Did you catch yeah. it? So my thing is, right, a rapper like this has been, he had the same name, obviously, same rapper name, everything, blew up with that same name, and people were so blind to that. You know what I'm saying? And now he's coming out with these concerts and everything, and they're demonic, like he's showing demonic shit on the screens, and people are now realizing, okay, this dude's into that, you know, demonic shit, you know? But he's been about that since he blew up. I recently have seen a lot of rappers have been actually showing that they like do those type of stuff and it's just kind of scary because I was like whoa like I have kind of heard you guys' songs and now seeing this is just like backing me off you know but little Uzi I I usually I never heard him honestly not gonna lie Mm -hmm. but damn I I never saw I never thought that was gonna come around him showing that that's crazy yeah a lot of a lot of people don't realize it to this day, but it's crazy. But what's scary about it, and this is the scariest part, is we don't know the contract that they signed. You know what I'm saying? Like people could easily find out how much they're making from a contract or like each song they put out, but what else is on that contract? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what else are they signing on to? And who are they signing to? You know what I'm saying? Like we don't even know if they're signing to record deals. Like Yeah. What is that noise? What is that noise? That noise? I don't know. Like, I thought it was coming from you, so I was just like, <laughs> no? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Hopefully, it's not coming no more. Yeah, it's Maybe? good now. Okay. Well, Never mind. Good. It's back. It's back. <laughs> <laughs> it wants to be. Hopefully, I did something good. Please work now. Okay. Somewhat better now. Kinda. They're alert! We're we gonna roll with We're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna roll with it. But, uh, so there's this a lot, there's a lot of conspiracies about a, a like, secret society. And that they're the ones that actually control this, like, a lot of your favorite celebrities and shit. And they're the ones that they signed the contract to. And the reason why they're famous type of shit. You know what I mean? You know what? I don't think about that. what do they do on the like the red carpet, you know, where they go? Where is it the Mac Gala? Where they like all go into that secret after their red carpet, they go in there. What is in there? Like what are they tra- like what is like there's a lot of questions that I have in there. Like what do they do? What type of topics do they talk? Like what is this so important? I can tell you one thing, we don't know what the fuck they do. <laughs> Um, and the second thing is, it ha- it possibly has a lot to do with that secret society shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Possibly has a lot to do with it. It does, so, honestly. Like, so who who's your who's your like who you listen to the most, or like who's your favorite actress or actor, whatever? Right now, um, they're not. I don't. I mean, they're probably big, but I don't think a lot of people hear them. But I would say like. Kali Uchi's, um, Bad Bunny, and... Bad Bunny's a big one. 
I feel like everybody likes that. Everybody likes Bad Bunny, right? Bad Bunny. But recently, I haven't. I only like his old music. I don't like his new music. Like honestly, I, I won't. Nah, even yeah, I, I like the 2018 Bad Bunny. I don't like the the now Bad Bunny. Right now, I don't know what happened. Some being him in the rock, and he just started. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it probably has something to do with that society shit. Like, there's a reason like people blow up like that and they become so fucking relevant. And that possibly has something to do with that type of deal. You yeah. know, it's a scary conspiracy theory, but at the same time, it's we don't know what the hell goes on. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of questions that they're unanswered, and it's just like, what is in this world? Like, honestly, like we don't even know what is the government doing. Are you like, have you saw that TikTok where that training where that girl was like, I ain't sitting here, like, I'm leaving out of this plane, like, he ain't real, like, dude, like, yes, 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 yes. he wasn't real, like, bro, like, we gotta actually open our minds, like, our brains and actually see what is around us, like, the other, the, the, a recent conspiracy, and this is scary as fuck, too, because, you know, the AI shit is out now. Yeah. It's almost like we don't know who the fuck real now. <laughs> yeah, like, what? Have you noticed? Have you noticed everybody is pretty much doing the same shit? Mm-hmm. Have you noticed that everybody's doing? Everyone's acting the same, doing the same shit. There's now a fucking trend on TikTok. You probably know the fucking AI trend that's creepy as fuck. People are doing the same shit. And like Snapchat so, too has it too. Like that's just. I have, I'm not too familiar with the Snapchat one. Really. What's up with Snapchat? Snapchat, I, I I just be posting my content on there. I don't really. really? Snapchat just has the has it in there too, like where you could just chat with the AI mm. and like the answer and things like that. I'm just like, about it's kind of weird. Get out I know of here. About, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that one is weird as fuck, and you don't really know who you're talking to. <laughs> yes, like I even I even told him I was like, who are you? Like, are you a real person? Like, are you sitting on your bed? Like, do are you eating? Do you hungry? Like, and it's just like actually answers like a person. I'm just like, dude, like, can you just get blocked? Like, are you like, do I answer? And then, like, I ask questions, but it's just like, it's like a real person, but not a real person, you know? It's yeah, like, but what's funny is like, we add it, you know what I'm saying? And we add it like it's a real fucking snap. And once you add it, it's stuck on your Snapchat for forever, you know what I'm saying? And right when that came out, people were saying, don't add it. Don't accept it. Don't do nothing with it. It's funny because mine just was in there. I didn't even add it. It just popped in there, like just randomly, and I was just like, "What?" Like we have. Like, mine was like it, like to add it, like accept the add or whatever. But. Really lucky because I wouldn't even add it. <laughs> but, I would have yeah. the app. Like who the fuck is this? <laughs> like, really? Yeah, no. it, it, it's weird, but that's that's a scary thing. You know, AI, and they was talking about how they was cloning um, celebrities and shit from a while ago. So it makes me wonder if they were using the same AI shit to clone these people, if that was true, you know? Yeah. What? It's so scary. Like, you have people on live, too, they'll be like, oh, yeah, thank you for the heart. Oh, they, I'm like, You're It's so weird. Crazy. It's creepy as fuck. And, like, mm-hmm. the, the thing is, they can't break character, but it's like... Why is this even a fucking trend? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, why is it so cool? Like, why even up on library? I don't know. People and people are gonna do it because it's a trend. You know, people, other people are gonna try it out and do it because it's a trend. But I just don't understand it. Honestly, I don't, I don't you know, get it. You'll never catch me doing some shit like that. <laughs> They're trying to be like Siri. <laughs> Yeah, there's someone DM me saying shit like that. Like, oh, they try to be like Alexa and Siri and shit like that. <laughs> like, I guess that's where the money is. I don't fucking know. You know? Wait, wait. If they're getting their money like that, then I guess do it. <laughs> do, you get, do you get a lot of gifts and stuff from going uh, live on TikTok? Um, Recently, yeah. I have gotten a couple gifts, but since like I, uh, I started live just this month, so I'm so new to live and everything, but yeah, I just got gifts, a couple gifts. That's good. And that, is that something you want to continue to do as well, or? Yeah, I honestly like it. I, um, I'm usually don't really hang out with people like that, like in reality. 
Yeah. So it's really dope to just be alive to like meet new people because yeah. we're at what, keeps you, what keeps you from like hanging out, like going outside and hanging out with people? Honestly, it's just the people around me. Like, um, I see their true colors. Like, it's just like I'm pretty of a dope, chill, shy person. But once like I see that you're like you're not you're not pretty cool to hang on and then i'm just like no like dude like no you're disrespectful you know like a lot of people where i live in area is just like you can't how i said like you can't even trust a person that's next to you you know because where <laughs> i live like dude everybody talks to talk smack about everybody so like i'm so of a close person like i don't like beating that person where i like you know where they talk smack about one person and then they hang out with them and then they're talking to me about blah, blah blah. So that's why like I just stopped hanging out with a lot of people like in twenty twenty. Like I just been all to myself and to my like I just hang out with my cousins. Yeah, and if I go out like, yeah. That's good though, out, you know, <laughs> That's good though, like keeping family close and stuff because you know, with friends and stuff, even friends kinda go behind each other's back and shit like that. So you don't really know who's real and who's fake in this day and age. Yeah, in this generation, you can't, like, I don't know. That's why, like, I say, like, I like being alive because I meet people from different areas, if from the around the world, you know, not just yeah. from where I live. And I do, do, like, when I do go out, I do try to make friends, you know, like, I make compliments and everything. They're chill and everything, but I'm not that type of person to, like, bother somebody, like, hey, like, let's go out, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of people are busy nowadays. I feel that, and I don't, I don't get like club vibe. You know what I'm saying? Which is good because, I mean, a club like a club. Okay, go to have fun, cool, whatever. But like, if you are a frequent goer, it's kind of like, mm -hmm. all right, like you need to chill the fuck out. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I must say, like the nightlife. When it comes to nightlife, enjoy it, especially when you're young. Enjoy it, but. Don't expect to find your significant other doing the nightlife shit. Yeah. Honestly, once I'm out, like, dude, I just be myself. Like, shoot, like, I'm a shy person, honestly. But, dude, I try to, like, my best to get out, out of my comfort zone, you know? So once, yeah. like, I'm in a party or anything, like, I don't care if I look like a fool. I don't care if I look funny, you know? If I'm having fun, I'm having fun. And you want to come enjoy, enjoy, you know? It's just to have fun outside, you know? Yeah, I'm not that type of person to be like, hey, like, you know, let's go fuck up and let's go, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't want no man attention. <laughs> I just want to yeah, have yeah. fun outside, you know? Hell yeah. Yo, that's good. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of people are like that. Like, I'm going to go to the club, find a fuck, and then that'll be my night. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I just want to be like, it just be fun, yeah. Like I remember when I last time I went out to a club with some people, that was that's the goal was to find someone to vibe with and go fuck. Really? Like, yeah, and it was like, all right, like, what, what next? <laughs> like, what you gonna do after? What are you gonna do after? Just go home. No. But that's our generation. Like they look for people to fuck, and that's it. You know, there's no there's no genuine relationships. I mean, there is, but it's rare as fuck. It's, it's so rare. It is. It's very really And what's crazy is we have people that are in their thirties and even forties that are still on that same type of time. Like it's it's wild as fuck to see. And you know who I blame for that? Who? The Kardashians. <laughs> the Kardashians. You laugh, but like, hey, that's some real shit. They they influence a lot of people. You know what I mean? Honestly, dude, honestly, thinking about like, it now. Look at Kim. Look at Kim Kardashian. She's balancing two motherfuckers right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't even watch them, but, uh, bro, Thank once, you. Like, like, uh, once I, like, I see that on TikTok, like, oh, like, they were with this guy and that other guy. Like, bro, Kendall was Bad Bunny, bro. Bad Bunny from there, he was canceled. He was freaking canceled. Like he I don't wasn't know why he did somebody that. else. Like I don't even know his name because I don't even know her. You so before before Bad Bunny, she was she was with the NBA players. 
you know, the typical, I'm on a tall dude, NBA player. She's with an NBA player. Mm -hmm. And she, I guess that didn't work out or whatever the fuck. You know, I saw that coming, like, um, and now she's with Bad Bunny, which is, I don't know what the fuck, like, Bad Bunny to wake the fuck up and understand that that female is going to ruin his career. Barely, like, didn't he see the curse, like, of that whole little curse was going on in their family with the guys, like, they were just going downhill after him. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're known for um, ruining motherfuckers' careers. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> like when's the last time fucking Kanye came out with a song? You know what I'm saying? Really, bro? Like right now, nobody really fucks with Bad Bunny because of like he went with her. You know, his music has been sorry, but it's been it has what the freak. This just, is that whole fun. that whole family is just real fucking sketchy. Like I, really? I, I, I can't even wrap my brain around it. Like they're just sketchy as fuck. You know what I mean? They and are. Kendall, Kendall, I would say, is probably the most quiet out of all of them. So he's the shit on, on quiet, except for Bad Bunny. But I don't know. I, I guess I kind of was show a little tiny drop of respect for that. But at the same time, like, she, there was a commercial she did. Um, It was a it was like her tequila brand. And me as, as a Chicano, you know what I'm saying? Oh, offense to that. Like, why the fuck are you wearing that? Why are you... Yeah. Kind of represent yourself like you a field worker, like you will never have to work in the field. Yeah. You know? She comes from the bougie, you know what I'm saying? She comes from a bougie yeah. ass family. So she I, was never rich. Like she was born rich. Like she never had to struggle um with like worrying about food on the table, you know, like she never got yeah. the struggle. She only she always got everything served to her, you know. Exactly. As soon as her and her sister were born, they already had fucking dresses made for them and everything. Yeah, right. like, mm -hmm. And when everything was happening about like our like um Mexico and everything, how her vendors was getting treated on, like she didn't have like she did she just watched it but she didn't post anything about it. She wasn't like speaking about it, you know, like but later on she started talking about like, oh I'm making a tequila and everything. Like that's not even dope. That's not even cool to make, you know, like bro, stay where you are. Don't try to come to everybody's little yeah. to everybody's culture, you know. Like, what pissed what pissed me off the most was when people when people were saying like oh but she gave a lot of Mexicans jobs the fuck who's to say that they didn't already have a good job to begin with you know what I'm saying and I guarantee you they wouldn't fucking work with uh with what the fuck's her name Kendall Jenner they wouldn't work for fucking her unless the money was right I mean honestly who wouldn't? but it's the whole fact that it was the that she did was just fucking disrespectful. Yeah. You know? Her commercial was just not, it was just like, what the fuck, like, bro. Like, they're, they're, the, biz, they're the biggest example of clout demons. Mm -hmm. they're, they're clout people, you know, and people want to follow, a lot of people want to follow types of footsteps, and it's like, why would you want to follow that? Yeah. You see, the, you see the backlash in it, why would you want to be that? Yeah, and I just don't get how they are very famous if the only thing they do is just, not, they're not even models. Like, they just have surgery. They don't model anymore. They, they, they don't they're model anymore. No like, what is so famous about them that they're so perfect? Yeah, they're perfect because they made themselves perfect. Like, they pay to be perfect. Like, they made a lot of us women's insecurities because they're so perfect in the screen. Like, dude, no, it's not like that. Like, they're, oh, uh, Kim? She was so beautiful back then, like honestly. Back in the day, yeah. She was so beautiful, dude. Like what? Like that beauty to pay for all of that? Like it's just like not even like why? Like why? Are but it's so funny you say that because a lot of people thought the same way, and that's why they're famous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's the face, it's their their beauty, it's not their person. Yeah. So that comes to show, like, our generation don't give a fuck about personality. Right? That's relationships, celebrities, whatever the fuck. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about personality, which is wild to me because I'm a man where, like, you can be a pretty face all you want, but if your vibe is off and your personality sucks like fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
a lot of people like I try to be friends with a lot of like girls like they seem so nice like on the stream and social media but once you see them in person they're so ugly like they're actually very rude like a lot of people are very two-faced on screen and person in person you know like even celebrities like some people are rude in person you know they're I'm actually glad. not the person that they show in the screen you know I'm glad you say that because I'm not, again, I'm not the only person that sees that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's a lot of people like that on the, they only care about the attention they're getting. You know? They don't care. Like, they don't care about nobody. They just care about themselves. And it's just yeah. like, wow. Like, yeah. And me, and me, like, as this podcast grows bigger and bigger, like, I, I, I don't want to get into that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to get into their realm and their mix and all that shit. Like, I want to still be myself. And I think I'm doing a pretty damn good job of doing it. Yeah. And honestly, like, I like how you're, like, so open to people, you know? Like, you give people opportunities and everything. It's just not that. Like, you're actually a positive person. I was just like, wow, like, you DM me and just told me, like, hey, like, you want to be on my podcast? Like, wow, like, I never yeah. thought I was going to be here. <laughs> You know, you're a pretty adult person, and I really like, and I really hope you keep continuing being just you, you know, because I really I see bigger things coming your way. I appreciate that. I see bigger things coming your way, too, because let me tell you something. Positive vibes, positive, positivity you bring to everybody that's around you, it could take you far. Whether you believe yeah. that or not, that's going to take you a long fucking way. It you does. know, with all, with all the bullshit negativity that goes on in the world, People need more positivity like that, you know. Like mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like people can't break that smile on your face. <laughs> and you shouldn't let them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're getting hate, it's because you're doing you're doing everything right. You're not yeah. doing it wrong. <laughs> Either way, the hate the hate is gonna help you still. Yeah. It's just you a know, motivation I, to to keep on going with your dreams, you know. Yeah. And, you know, and that's the way that's the way you should see it too. Is just that's all it is. Hate is gonna get you further than you think. <laughs> it will. It does. Definitely will. But I I, I love the positive vibe you bring. For sure. Like I said, it's it's gonna take you far. Thank you. It's gonna take you far. <laughs> with, with whatever you do, that's gonna take you far. Like for me, I I don't see it being hard to be friends with you. You know, the only reason why. I, the others are struggling is because they haven't figured them themselves out yet. Yeah. You know, they're still stuck in that negative fucking mindset. So they're gonna try to bring that to you, but your positivity is out strengthening that. So therefore they can't yes. vibe with you. They can't vibe with you because they're not on your level. Positivity, you know, you can't just feed them into something more to it, you know, you can't feed more into it. Yeah. Just keep going, you know. It's yeah. just one hate. One hate could take you to a lot of places. Exactly. Exactly. But like I said, I see you going. I see you going far for sure too. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. So is that so? The whole reason why you're single is just because you haven't found the right one yet. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah. My thing about that is. We just grew up in the wrong fucking generation. We were we were born in the wrong time. <laughs> yep. We were born. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like the nineties was like the good time. Like that's actually when people that's were actually, so the nineties was legitimately when people loved each other. I'm gonna say that. The real world where it was actually history in it. Now it's just like people don't do even those type of stuff. It's just like yeah. Like people, people didn't focus on fucking social media so much because that wasn't around. People legitimately looked for genuine relationships. I mean, granted, there was still you know cheating and stuff going on, but it wasn't as relevant as it is nowadays. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? It wasn't as relevant. So we were born in the wrong time. You know, two positive people born in the wrong time. It is what it is. But guess what? We're here to keep spreading that positivity in hopes that the world becomes a better place. Yeah. And honestly, how I said, like, we're so young and to worry about being loved by somebody else right now, my mind right now is just like, yeah, I can love myself. Like, I don't even have to get hurt right now. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Like, on, I'll focus on myself type of deal. You know? Like, it will come to me eventually, you know. The right person will come to me once once it comes, you know. And if it's not now, if it's not later, then it will eventually come to me in my 20s. And if it doesn't come to my 20s, then shit. Um, I guess I have to go find it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, I mean, if it don't come to you in your 20s, it'll come in your 30s, you know what I'm saying? Who's yeah, to say that? Because who's to say, like, you don't hit, like, you know, your low 50s and you're still not, you know, in shape and looking good? Like, who's to say that's not going to happen? Yeah. You know that's why I say, like, you're not old until you hit, like, 60s and 70s. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a yeah. lot of people out there that are in their 50s and they're still healthy as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know? And they look very young. Mm-hmm. And that's not talking about, you know, fucking Chris Jenner or anything like that. Yeah. We don't know what the fuck she does. She she does some other shit. She does some mother shit to make her look like that. Yeah. I'm talking about, you know, just regular, regular people, you know. Yeah. In the 50s, they still healthy. That's why I don't consider the 50s old. Mm-hmm. Like, if you were to tell me, like, oh, I'm 58. Okay. You're still young. <laughs> what sport you about to play next? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. And I see that. Like, you said what now? And I see a lot of people, like a a lot of people, like they're they're like on their fifties and sixties, and I didn't even realize. I thought they were like their forties and thirties. Like I have family members that still look like they're in the thirties, and they surprise me every time. What? I don't I don't I don't have that but <laughs> you know for my family like they, they they get to that age they get to that age type of deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They get they get broken at an early age. I don't know why, but I'm trying I'm trying to break that. Break that, uh, <laughs> probably break that limit. <laughs> yeah. Gotta put yeah. that sunscreen. I actually believe it or not, I don't even get sunburned like that. Really? I heard sunscreen nah, I, fixes. I just you. didn't. I just get darker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard some skin will fix like once you're like older, like it will like not you only have like wrinkly face or like anything. So I was like, oh shoot, like I'm a serious. The way, I, the way I see, it, I get wrinkles and I still be on on my shit. So it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I haven't used sunscreen since I was like, you know, young, young, like kid, like six years old, probably. You know, when I was in, when I was in Mexico, yeah. But I mean, I barely started using sunscreen. Like, what? Now that I'm seven, now that I'm eighteen, I started wearing like sunscreen. But when I was young, I was always getting burned. Like, uh, I light it up, girl. Boy, <laughs> I light it up because, dude, I used to be dark. Girl, what? 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 Uh, <laughs> your family's from Mexico too. Um, my dad is from Mexico. My mom is from Honduran, so half and Okay, half. so you're you're first first gen, first gen. Yeah. Okay, you speak Spanish too. Yeah, I speak Ooh. Spanish. I can hear it in the voice that you're very fluent. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I'm like a fifth or sixth gen, so my Spanish is real fucking ghetto. Really? Yeah, it ain't no paisa Spanish. I'm like the type where I go to home and like, on the way, like, que pasó, you know? Uh-huh. But I won't, I won't, you know, get fat to it type of dip. Uh-huh. They start spitting paragraphs at me. I'm like, I'm a dip. Mucho gusto, pero. Yeah, mucho gusto, pero me voy. Yeah, me voy. Yeah. It'd be like that, like, they give me, I do really understand and everything, but once, like, they come, they want, like, me to have an answer, I'm just like, uh, like my words just get so stuck on my English. Like yeah. when I came to Seattle, like I only speak speak you know, in Spanish, and do it was so hard to learn English. But now that I have no English, like it's so bad to know my <laughs> Spanish now. Cause you gotta swap between the two now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So all I, know first, I know the first gen struggle is that and also having to be a translator for your parents. <laughs> Dude, it's horrible. Me, my grandma, my mom, everybody wants me to go with them to their daughter's appointments, to courts, to everything. Yep. To translate. Yep. And to translate, it's bad because then you don't know how to translate a word to Spanish and you're just like, oh. 
and then I try to find some other word that try to match the same thing. <laughs> it's yeah. so bad. At that point, you gotta start sounding like the white people. You gotta be like, you know, yeah. probably you have you have old back old spasmo. Yeah, and then like my, my mom just oh my god, I just end up talking. I'm just like, okay, like I feel kind of relieved because <laughs> I don't mm-hmm. even know what to say. Yeah, and they get mad when you don't speak Spanish to them, huh? Mm-hmm. They <laughs> yeah, when, do. You answer, when you answer them in English, they get fucking tired as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I understand. I understand the first gen struggle. It just I didn't have to go through that struggle. I, I grew up. I grew up with a family of you know, Chicanos. I don't know if you're familiar with that term. But yeah. Yeah, I grew up with that type of family. So I grew up bilingual, but my Spanish was always ghetto type Spanish. Uh-huh. Always. Uh-huh. Fucking, yeah, was always different. I see. You said you see. <laughs> yeah, like I see, like what you mean, you know. Is my, is my Spanish pretty bad? Mm, I, I didn't really hear you speak Spanish. Like, say a whole sentence. I said, so, like, if I'm going to, like, the homies I know, I'll be like, okay, on the way, que paso, you know, like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> it's there, it's there. You got, like, so, a little accent. So, I ha- you said I have an accent? Yeah, like, when you, like, when you say Spanish. Orale like, pues, orale, you know, yeah. But it's funny because I can switch up my accents because I lived on the East Coast for like a good three years or so, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of Puerto Ricans out there. So I had a lot of Puerto Rican homies, and I went to Puerto Rico, and they thought I was a local there, so I kind of played the role, and I got the accent down. So you know, they you know come up, I'm like, ah, no, 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 I, I could just switch up my accent like that. I just gotta learn how to do it. <laughs> so, you know, like to switch up your Spanish accent? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's dope. That's dope. I've been messing so, around with my, I don't know, my. And so I was, I was, I was single at the time, right? So I was in Puerto Rico. And like when I was going up to like, you know, the female and trying to like flirt and do my thing, I'm like, oh, yeah, mommy, mama, blah, 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 you know, like I try to get with the accent and try to switch up. <laughs> but it's funny, man, because it does fuck me up sometimes. Like I'll be sp- speaking Spanish and it'll just come out of nowhere, like that <laughs> accent. And I'm like, fuck, like I gotta get rid of this shit. <laughs> you know You're being like that. I be messing around with my Spanish. Like I say Spanish words, but like I just be like, I don't know, I add like a s or like I mix it up with some random ass like language, like or like. Let me see. Let me see what I can say. Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's right. see. Mm. Like, like, what the hell, you know, like, I be like, just messing around. That sounded ass. Puerto Rican as fuck. Really? <laughs> she said, me gusta really? comer. <laughs> I just like, I just like squeeze my way or I just, I don't know, I just try to do But it's funny though, because you know why that sounded, you know why that sounded Puerto Rican? Mm-hmm. Because... Puerto Ricans kind of have like a lazy Spanish, if, if that makes sense. They don't pronounce okay. the S's and they speak like they're in a hurry, but at the same time, they're like lazy. So, it's like if, gonna like, if you're going to say like, vamos a comer, they're going to say like, vamos a comer. Vamos. Uh-huh. And it's like, what the fuck? Like you skip like, you skip like 12 vowels in that motherfucker. Like, yeah. They be speaking fast though too. I been like, yeah. I went to Florida to Key West and they were like talking to like, I was like, oh, like what does this like uh, taco have, you know? She only said this like quick. Like I was like, can you say that slow? Like I, I didn't even understand what you said. Like what was in it? Like yeah. so fast, like something I don't even understand, but I'd be agreeing. I'd be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. That's when you gotta pull out the ghetto Spanish. You gotta be like, que pinche dijiste? Like, what the fuck? Me voy a repetir esto otra vez. Yeah, yeah. Que pinche dijiste? Like, what the fuck? You know, because I didn't understand what the fuck you just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? But yeah, they speak fast as hell. Once they started spitting, I was like, Davi. Like, that's all I said, Davi. <laughs> and, then, and then that was that, you know? And then they went on with their day. Yeah, bro. Hundreds, though. Hundreds. Oh, they be saying bad words in every sentence. They yell. Like, they yell, <laughs> but that's their way to talk to you. Like, my yeah. mom used to 
used to yell at me, but it wasn't even her yelling. It was just her talking to me. And I was like, already crying. I was like, dude, why are you yelling? <laughs> now too, you know, like from my family, like they like cuss, but they're talking or like yeah. they're saying something, but they're yelling, you know? Yeah. And like oh, the vices, the vices like from Mexico, they like they're fast to us, but they, they speak slower than other countries. They do. You know? So if that's fast for us, like we we gonna be struggling for a little bit. <laughs> it is, yeah. Like I went to Mexico and it's so different. Like everything's so different from where my mom is. You yeah. know, like how they speak, how they use their languages. Like they say way so a lot. Yeah, they say, they say way a lot. But like if you were to say that, say if your uncle was from, straight from Mexico, you can't say that to him because that's like disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. So it is. it's it's different. It's different. I be having to watch out my mouth sometimes. So I be like talking so Mexican to my mom. She's like, "Chill, bro. Like, chill. Like, do you yeah. freak out, bro? Yeah, bro. I'm like, my yeah. And I can't. I can't talk. I can't speak like formal Spanish. You know, I can't be formal with it. You know, mm -hmm. on some non disrespectful shit. Like, I cannot be formal with it. So if I see like a family member that's straight from there. I'm gonna still be like, que pasó? like, que onda? like, you know what I mean? and he's probably gonna feel like disrespected, but like, I can't speak formal Spanish. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be like that. Because sometimes I don't even know how to talk to my, like, I don't have a, I don't know how to make a full conversation with my family sometimes. I'd be like, uh -huh, I'm gonna go play with the kids. Like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too American. <laughs> I'm too American. <laughs> Hey, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that because you know what? That's like multicultural. You know, for Chicanos, Chicanas, like we yeah. we have multiple cultures within us. So, and I feel like back then, because back then, Chicanos and uh, Paisa, they used to actually beef at it, like because Paisas were like would look at the Chicanos and be like, "Oh, you're not you're not real Mexican. Like y'all Americanized. Y'all grew up here, so y'all y'all getting with us, you know." And yeah. the Chicanos are like, fuck you, like we have Mexican blood in us too. We just came from a better environment, but who does this shit, you know? Yeah. Nowadays, I mean it's better, but back then, like it was it was a big deal. It was bad, yeah. Nowadays it's like good. Now everybody's with everybody. Like we're all a team. <laughs> that's what I like. Yeah, that's what I like. You know, we're all a team. <laughs> for sure. As of now though, I don't I don't know if I wanna go back to Mexico for real, for real. Really? What part are you on from? My family comes from Jalisco. Jalisco? Ooh. Yeah, you know, that's where most of the lighter skinned Mexicans come from. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. you notice, have you noticed the northern part of the lighter skin, but then the further south you go, the darker they get? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have seen that a lot because I went to Mexico recently. And last year I went like down there like to Morelos. I don't know if you're familiar from there. It's I've like heard next of it. To, really? I've heard yeah. I've heard I just don't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> really? It's next to Mexico City. It's like Okay, so central Mexico. Okay. Uh-huh. Dude, everybody there is like dark, but then recently for I think it was February, I went there and dude, I went in the top where like nobody is like down there. Dude, everybody's white there. Like yeah, like, like blonde, like, like blonde, yeah, blonde hair, blue eyes and shit. Uh -huh. yeah, like colored eyes. Really? Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's so different to see like. But they're Spanish. They speak so fast. <laughs> they do. I'm like, oh, like what the fuck? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> You know, and we have we have chinos down there too. We have fucking okay, Asian Mexicans in that motherfucker. Like, we're we're just such a very diverse group of people. I love it. Yeah, me too. I love it. I love. We have we have African Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah. I love it. I love I love how diverse us as as a Latinos are in general. You know. Mhm. Mm we are. Like, like, have you ever done that 23andMe ancestry year for? The what? Like the DNA test shit, like the 23 and me, the ancestry or whatever. Oh yeah. You I'm did do that? <laughs> Have you done it? I did it, yeah. I did it like a while back though. It's been a minute. I don't know how accurate they are, but I mean, 
I don't know. I found some interesting shit with it. So <laughs> me too. I was like, what? And it's weird because it connects you with like family members you've never fucking seen in your life, and then you're like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> We're related. You know what I'm saying? Like we really, yeah. Like one of like um two of my cousins. I don't even know who the fuck they were. And they actually they're from uh Oregon, like the Oregon area. Oregon like there's somewhere up, up there north by Washington, Oregon, whatever the fuck. Yeah. And I don't even know they was cousins, but somehow we're related. <laughs> and that, and then we're cool to this day. So it's like it's weird how it just connect you to people like that. that you are, never you are related. Yeah. Uh, it'd be so weird though, yeah, because your family it like randomly just big, but you don't even know it how big it is. Well, I mean, like we already have a big ass family as it is, and now there's more people I never met. Like, fuck. <laughs> damn. Yeah, like that's another thing of a whole goddamn from soccer stadium, you know? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah. But I don't know how accurate it is. Like, I, I really don't, you know. Because I've had, yeah. like, I've had homies of mine that were black, but it came out that they were more European than African-American or African, you know? Yeah. yeah. But they were, what? like, they're more, like, full-blooded black. So it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you mean to tell me you came out dark? So I, was like, I was like, you mean to tell me you're white, but you came out dark like that? <laughs> yeah. But, shit. We're about hitting that one hour mark. So I will say this was a cool ass vibe for sure, for sure. Yes, for but, sure. But before you go, there is a challenge on the podcast I do at the end of pretty much every podcast. And it's because it's a, what do you call it? I forgot the word for it. It's a inside joke. Because back when I used to have guests, like say random, like ask guests random questions, like miss questions. Mm -hmm. Some motherfucker would just put emojis and shit and like have like want them to imitate some shit. So I was like, there's a challenge for this, so fuck it. So I'll add it in. So, how good are your acting skills? My acting skills? How good mm -hmm. are you? You said they're good? They're good. Okay. Can... All right. So, I'm going to pop some emojis up and you got to try to imitate them as spot on as possible. Wait, what? <laughs> so I'm gonna pop emojis up, and you gotta try to imitate them as spot on as possible. Okay, so I have to try to like act like them, like. Yeah, yeah, and they're all face emojis, it's not the, like crazy ones. It's just all face emojis. <laughs> okay. All right, so here's the first one. I think it's pretty easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So my question: How many pictures you took like that? <laughs> Dude, honestly, I stopped taking pictures like that since um. Back then, back then, because I used to be like, ew. Like, I used to be like this too, like, you know that? Like, I remember that. Yeah, that was a middle school vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since then, I never done that. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And then this one. I'm so glad. Oh. Um... That's like when you see those, those weird ass comments on the TikTok. <laughs> uh... Yeah. <laughs> And that one's like the I'm too lit face. <laughs> yeah, I'm lit as fuck, but I don't know how to get home type of face. And this one is the, the wink. Wink, wink. So you do know how to wink. <laughs> a lot of people don't know how to wink. Did you know that? Really? Yeah, I could wink, but like a lot of people don't know how to wink. What? I used to use that as a trademark, like, you know. When I was still on my shit, I'd be like, what's up? You know? <laughs> like, that was just my thing. Um, and then this is probably the easiest one right here. <laughs> just kidding. That was so, what, so what does that this emoji mean right here? Because I don't really, like, I feel like people use it for different things. I Honestly, that, I just feel like... Like, if somebody's like, oh, you're pretty cute, you know, like, they're kind of, like, you know, kind of shy, but they're telling you, you know, I don't know. I kind of see it like, you know, they're trying to flirt with you, or, like, they're just trying to be, like, you know, over yeah. there. People do, uh -huh. people slide up with those type of things, too. I'm like, okay. Oh, so that to you? Yeah, so I've been like, oh, 
I guess on your, I don't know what that means, but okay, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I never understood the whole thing. I don't even know like how it really looks because I don't know if it's the whole face is covering or like or what. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what does it look? What does it look like to you? As like doing the whole face, or it's supposed to be? It's just not. I feel like it's just like, like you know, like whoa, like it's, whoa, <laughs> like I'm shook, but like whoa. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, it's it's a it's one of those emojis that people use for all kinds of different shit. I never really understood the whole meaning of that. If that Me makes sense. Or if just, people even if people even do that shit in real life, you know what I mean? Like they do it in real life. I don't know if people do that. <laughs> My thing is if someone's gonna do that, they're probably watching like a scary movie or some shit. Like do you do you do that when you watch a scary movie? Oh now I see like and I can picture that emoji now, like when you're scared. When you like close your eyes but you wanna see too. Are so you, you do about- so you do do that? No. Huh? I said you do do that, like when you watch some scary movies, like you 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 do that shit. Yes. Even though I look when it literally pops up. Shit. What's what, what's an example? Like um, what is it called? Con- Countdown. When once it well when it came out recently, I went to the movies, and yeah. like do like I, I would like close my eyes, you know, but peek and then. I would close my eyes again, and I would peek, and then it would just jump. Like, it would what do you mean? Like, you close your eyes like this? No, like I go like this, and I go like that, and then I go like this. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if it's gonna jump or not. But I do it in the real yeah. time. I check at the whole room. at the whole movie theater. <laughs> oh, yes. Scary so you're not a you're not a horror movie for that like that. Yes, I am, but then I regret it the same at the end. Yeah, because you can't sleep that night. Yeah, but I would love to watch a scary movie, but dude, the night I can't. I want to sleep. I don't know. I like the old school horror movies, like the slasher movies. You know what I'm saying? Like Halloween, Friday the Thirteenth. The horror movies now are like real. The horror movies now are like real demonic. So I don't really, I don't really. Fuck with them. I don't watch them. I feel like I need to fucking sleep with a Bible after that shit. You know honestly they it's put crazy. so much into it like it's like, like, like what's, what's one that recently came out for that evil dead movie like that shit was demonic as hell but i didn't go watch it no i don't want i don't want no evil evil vibes coming to me yeah honestly don't you like once you see like, like a scary movie or like something that's evil like it just stays in your mind the whole entire time but you can't yeah. even worry i i I don't like that, dude. Like, and I don't know about you, but sometimes I get sleep problems when I eat shit like that. Oh, I you do? do? Yeah, I do. I wouldn't okay. sleep the whole night or until the whole day. Like, I would just say all of, like, I can't sleep. It wouldn't get yeah. off my mind. Yeah. So, I, with sleep paralysis, I've never, like, seen figures, but I've had the feeling like I can't move. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't move anything type of deal, but I've never seen anything, like some people say. Really? For me, it happened only once, but it was like, everybody thought that I was tripping. Everybody thought I was high. Like, they were like, dude, like, you're just tripping. Like, you're probably on drugs. But it's like, no, dude, like, somebody dead has opened the closet, op- the door, and, like, it was open. Like, that thing was full on shot. Like, why did it open, you know? Oh, hell no, yeah. Everybody that, thought that, that was that's, crazy. That's when you need a Bible and a crucifix and all that type of stuff. In your, in your I went into the corner and I just hide and I called everybody and then I was just like, nope, <laughs> get me out of here. Yeah, yeah, that shit is scary as fuck. I just hate the feeling that I can't move because like if I see some shit, I'm gonna, I want to punch it, right? But I can't move. <laughs> I yeah, can't move my like damn arm. Uh-uh, I'll be scared. I, I don't know. I'll probably just stop breathing for me to just like faint or something. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna punch the shit out of it. Like, get the fuck away from me, but I can't move, you know? Mm. Uh, that's my biggest fear. That's your big, my biggest fear is spiders. I ain't gonna lie to you. I have so many videos of me. <laughs> I have so many videos of me, like, trying to kill small ass spiders doing it. No, they're. I, I don't can't, fuck like. With- I don't fuck with them. Like they have too many eyes, too many legs to for me to fucking deal with. So Yeah. Like what no, if no. I, what if I try to kill you? Like, dude, is where are you gonna know my moves? 
Like, yeah, what if, what if I miss? Exactly. What if I miss and it jumps? Like, I'm fucked. <laughs> like, I'm literally, yeah, I'm fucked, bro. Like, it's going to beat me. It's going to eat me. Like, what else? I'm going to get a venom on me. <laughs> I'm going to turn, turn to spider girl or some shit. Nah, yes. I'll, I'll be a, if it jumps on me, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to win a gold medal in the Olympics. How many goddamn flips? It would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but that ends off this episode i appreciate you coming on i appreciate the positive vibes real talk stay hey stay in touch man because i feel like you know a friendship definitely prosper from this i really do fuck with the positivity and i don't know about you but i'm gonna I'm keep making sure you're good and you're getting through the days you know what i'm saying yes sir me too come on you got me man how i said I'm a real <laughs> one bro Absolutely. Ain't no like, <laughs> absolutely. Be a good friend. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So before we end up, go ahead and shout out your social medias and all that. Yep. Oh, I'm a sh- do I shout them out? Yeah, shout out your social media. Oh. My TikTok is what is it? Oh, it's <laughs> it's Emily A <laughs> underscore. And then my Instagram is Emily A underscore. Wait. Emily A1 underscore. Oh, yeah. y'all, tap, y'all tap into her Instagram and y'all tap into her TikTok lives. Because <laughs> they, they get lit and she she spreads all that positivity. Whether you want to send those weird ass shits, those fucking messages or not, yeah. it's all positive. Yep. So, I appreciate you coming on. Stay in Thank touch. Thank you for having me here. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So, yeah, I appreciate you coming on. Stay in touch. And, uh, yeah, it's going to release on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and they're going to release pretty shortly here. So, okay. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah.